Hello, future astronauts. Are you ready to embark on an epic journey through the solar system? Today, we'll zoom past eight fascinating planets, glide by shimmering moons, and even get up close to the blazing sun. Did you know the solar system is like a giant family, with the sun as the parent and all the planets as its children? Each planet has its own personality, from the tiny cratered Mercury to the icy, mysterious Neptune. So, grab your space helmets and let's launch into the wonders of space. Our first stop is the Sun, the center of our solar system. The Sun is a massive star made of hydrogen and helium, and it's so powerful that it provides the energy for life on Earth. Did you know that the Sun's surface is 10,000 degree Meb, 5,500 degree Ned, and its core is even hotter, over 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. The sun is like a giant nuclear reactor, constantly burning and releasing heat and light. Its gravity holds all the planets in their orbits, keeping our solar system together. Zooming past the sun, we arrive at Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system. Mercury is only slightly larger than our moon and has no atmosphere to protect it. This means its surface is covered in craters, just like a giant golf ball. During the day, Mercury's temperature can soar to a scorching 800 degrees de Sanagon, 427 degrees Sanagasis, but at night, it drops to a freezing 290 degrees de Sanagasis, 980 degrees Sanagasis. It's a planet of extremes. Since Mercury is so close to the Sun, it completes an orbit in just 88 days. Our next stop is Venus the hottest planet in the solar system, even though it's not the closest to the sun. Venus is covered in thick clouds of carbon dioxide that trap heat, creating a runaway greenhouse effect. Its surface is over 900 degrees Celsius, 475 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead. Venus also has many volcanoes and vast plains. If you look at Venus from Earth, it's the brightest object in the night sky after the moon, often called the evening star. Now we've arrived at the most familiar planet, our home, Earth. Earth is the only planet we know of that supports life. It has a breathable atmosphere made of nitrogen and oxygen, liquid water covering 70% of its surface, and a perfect temperature range for plants, animals, and humans. Did you know Earth orbits the sun at just the right distance to avoid being too hot or too cold? Scientists call this the Goldilocks Zone. Orbiting Earth is the Moon, our closest neighbor in space. The Moon doesn't have air or water, but it has a big role on Earth. It controls the ocean tides. The Moon's surface is covered in craters from meteor impacts, and the dark spots you see are ancient lava plains called Maria. Did you know astronauts first landed on the moon in 1969 during the Apollo 11 mission? Next, we visit Mars, often called the Red Planet because of its reddish, iron-rich soil. Mars has the tallest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons, and deep valleys like Valles Marineris. Scientists are exploring Mars to see if it could support life in the future. Robotic rovers like Perseverance are already there, searching for signs of ancient water. Between Mars and Jupiter is the asteroid belt, a region filled with rocky and metallic objects left over from the formation of the solar system. While it looks crowded in pictures, the asteroids are actually spread far apart in space. Some asteroids are as small as a pebble, while others, like Ceres, are as big as a small planet. Get ready to meet Jupiter the largest planet in our solar system. Jupiter is so big that over 2,300 Earths could fit inside it. It's a gas giant made mostly of hydrogen and helium, and it has no solid surface. One of its most famous features is the Great Red Spot, a massive storm that's been raging for over 300 years. Jupiter has at least 79 moons, including the four largest, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, called the Galilean moons. Did you know Ganymede is even larger than Mercury? Next up is Saturn, the planet famous for its stunning rings. 
These rings are made of ice and rock particles that range in size from tiny grains to chunks as large as houses. Saturn is a gas giant like Jupiter, and it's also mostly hydrogen and helium. Did you know Saturn has more than 80 moons? One of them, Titan, is the second largest moon in the solar system and has a thick atmosphere filled with methane clouds. Saturn's beauty makes it a favorite for stargazers everywhere. Now we arrive at Uranus, the seventh planet from the Sun, and one of the coldest places in the solar system. Uranus is an ice giant, made mostly of icy materials like water, ammonia, and methane. Methane in its atmosphere gives Uranus its pale blue color. What makes Uranus unique is that it rotates on its side. This means one pole faces the sun for years, while the other is in complete darkness. Talk about a topsy-turvy planet. Our journey ends with Neptune, the farthest planet from the sun. Neptune is another ice giant and is known for its deep blue color, caused by methane in its atmosphere. It's also the windiest planet, with winds that can reach speeds of 1,200 miles per hour. Neptune has 14 known moons, and its largest moon, Triton, orbits in the opposite direction to the planet's rotation, a mystery scientists are still trying to solve. Our tour wouldn't be complete without the dwarf planets. Pluto, once considered the ninth planet, is now classified as a dwarf planet. It's small, icy and far from the sun, taking 248 years to complete one orbit. Other dwarf planets like Eris, Haumea, and Makemake live in a region called the Kuiper Belt. These icy worlds are mysterious and hold the secrets about the early days of the solar system. Beyond the planets lies the Oort Cloud, a vast spherical shell of icy objects. This is where most comets are born, waiting to be sent on long journeys toward the sun. The Oort cloud marks the outer edge of our solar system and is so far away that light from the sun takes nearly two years to reach it. It's like the solar system's invisible bubble. Our journey through the solar system has come to an end, but the adventure doesn't stop here. The universe is filled with billions of stars, galaxies, and mysteries waiting to be explored. From the sun's warmth to Neptune's icy winds, every part of the solar system is unique and special. Remember, you don't have to be an astronaut to explore space. Just keep looking up at the night sky and wondering about the stars.